Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Flame Dashboard on Portainer Stacks, which is Docker Compose underneath. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So, I'm going to be installing Flame Dashboard, Flame is a self-hosted start page for your server, easily manage your apps and bookmarks with, with built-in editors. And then, um, this is what it looks like, and here's the description, and then functionality, create, update, delete applications and bookmarks directly from the app using built-in GUI uh, editors. Pan your favorite items, integrated search bar and local filtering, authentication system to protect your settings, apps, and bookmarks, Do dozens of options to customize Flame interface, we weather widget, and Docker integration. So, that's what we'll be installing today. So now we're going to start on Big Bear Video Assets, and there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. So, um, I'm going to go to how to install Flame on Portainer right here. And then I'm going to go over to Docker Compose. And then now version 3 is being used of Docker Compose. And then I'm going to set some services. And then the service un underneath the ser services is called Flame. And then I'm going to get in image. And it's coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. And it's multi arch too. So, so that means it works on different CPUs. And, um,. So it's dealing with 2.3.1 version. And then now I'm gonna set some uh, volumes. So data, app data, flame data is on the host side. This can be changed. And then on the container side is app data. And then I'm gonna mount the Docker uh, so socket so the flame can access the Docker. So var run docker.sock is on the host side and then in the container is var run docker dot sock the host side cannot be changed so okay now the map port is 5005 so on the host side if this does collide with another port on your host you can change this port and then now in the container is 5005 so you can't change the container side and then now I'm going to set a environment variable. So I'm going to set the pa password to get into the flame dashboard as flame underscore a, a password. Th th this should be changed. And then I automatically re restart the container. So uh, this means that if you stop it for any reason, it will not restart. But if it fails or any other reason, it will try to restart. Okay, I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go over my portainer and get this installed. So I'm going to install Flame Dashboard now. So I'm going to start on my portainer's dashboard right here. I'm going to go to Home, Local, and then Stacks. And then I'm going to Add Stack. And then it says the, the stack will be deployed using Docker Compose because all uh, portainer stacks are is Docker Compose underneath. So now name is going to be Flame stack and then now this is where we're going to put our docker and buzz file in and the web editor right here and then i'm going to paste it in and um i went over this in big bear video assets and then now i'm going to scroll down to deploy the stack and then we'll press it and then um it should be up and running so i'm going to go into stack now i'm going to go to containers then i'm going to go to logs and then here you go, it's listing on 5005 in production mode. So that means that it is running. So now if you go into the stack and you can stop this stack, you can delete the stack, you can create a template from the stack. Um, it, you can, go, you can go, come down here and see your container and what ports it listing on. You can also go in the editor and change the Docker Compose. So, um, you can also, once you change the Docker Compose, you can update the stack. And you can also repull the image and update the local cache. 
And um, this makes it to where if the developer updated the current tag that you're on and you just needed to refresh the cache to get the latest updates from them, then you can up, update it right here and then repull and then push the containers out for a restart. So um, that's a little bit about the stack options. So now I'm going to go over the containers. So you're going to go in your stack and then you're going to go to your flame stack, uh, flame one container right here. And then you can see the logs. You can inspect, uh, see the status, co console and attach. You can also go up here and stop, kill, restart, pause, resume, remove, recreate, or duplicate and edit. And um, you can go into logs and you can see what's happening. It's great for debugging. And... Um, you can go down here and put your credentials in so you get past the limits on the API of Docker Hub. And you can see your container details. You can see your port configuration. So on the host, it's 5005, and then the container is 5005. You can see what command it's running. You can see the, uh, the entry point. You can see the environment variables right here. And then you can see all the labels on the container. You can set your restart policy. You can cha uh, change it right here. You can see all the volumes that are mapped. So docker.sock and docker.sock. And then uh, data, app data, flame data is on the host side. And then on the a path container is app data. And then it also created a bridge network down here, flame stack default. So now uh, I'm going to go into my, my browser and I'm going to put the IP address of my portainer and then 5005. So um, I'm going to run it and you can see that it did start up and the UI is working. So you can go to, in the settings and you can see app themes. You can go ahead and put your password in that you have. So mine's the default. So now you can put the session duration and then I'm going to log in and log out. You can see the flame version right here. You can check for updates. And it says I'm on the latest version. You can go back to themes. You can go to general and have more options. And you can add a search provider. You can go into interface and see some miscellaneous options. Some search, header, and sections. And then you can see a weather option for a weather API. And put in the API key right here. You can change the te a temperature unit. And then you can uh, have additional weather data, cloud coverage, and humidity, and then press the save. You can go over here and you can change the Docker options. So um, you can also uh, do a Kubernetes Angus API right here. So um, you can put custom CSS in, and then you can get back to app. You can go over and um, go back. And then you can add applications here. So you can go over here and you can add an application and put your info in. And then I'm going to just put some example and then book stack. And then um, you can also put an icon in here. So book, book, open outline and then the app visibility as visible anyone can I can access it or hidden authentication required so I'm gonna add the new application and you see it right here you can click it you can also edit the applications you can delete one edit it uh, stop uh, pin it and unpin it and then make it to where it's viewable or not a uh, visibility you can also go back and you can put in bookmarks so you can add a category and then you can change the visibility on the category and then add a new category and then here you go testing and then um, you can uh, add a bookmark so you can do just big bird tech world and big bird tech world com and then you can select the category that you want to in. So testing. And then I'm going to, you can also put an icon and then a bookmark visibility. You can change that. 
I'm going to add new bookmark. I'm going to exit out. So you can see it's added. You can go backwards and you can see the bookmark right here and you see the category. So it's pretty neat. And you can also go up here and you can search things. So you can search your applications to bookmarks. So that's about the flame a dashboard. So I just went over step by step on how to get flame dashboard running on Fortander stacks using Docker Compose. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.